All right, guys, welcome along to stream number 12, episode number 34 of my Talos Principle 2 Let's Play. We are tantalizingly close to the end of the game, I do believe. Um, as you can see from my stats here, we have got 98% puzzle completion, 92% hidden puzzle completion, all 100% stars, and we have got 92% of the lost labs. Uh, so one more hidden puzzle, lost puzzle, one more lost uh, lab, and I think one more puzzle, and then we are done. And then we can head over to the mega structure for potentially the final time. Obviously, I don't know what's to come, but yeah, I assume it's the final time and hopefully we'll get some answers to some of the questions we have um, contemplated so far during our let's play. So before we get started though tonight, just one little thing I want to mention. Because um, we're getting tantalizing close to the end of the game and we've still got the golden gate puzzles to do. My plan tonight, assuming there's not much more to go in the game, is just to get the game finished tonight. And then next week, when we come back to the stream on Wednesday and potentially Friday, we will start fresh and we will look to tackle the 13 golden gate puzzles i think there is I think there's one in each of the areas and then one um outside the mega structure so that's the plan tonight we're going to focus solely on getting everything 100 percent apart from those golden gate puzzles we're not going to worry about those for now but without further ado let's jump in up there into there yeah don't talk to napaz about uh Final Fantasy VII, pretty imagining. I want to make his favorites. Okay. Oh, we need mobile instruments. Okay, well. We will see, LB. We will see. Also, I've not done any of the lost puzzles, I thought I had two. <laughs> Let's get the main puzzles sorted first. It is called the Gateway Switch. Expected. Okay, so we release that first, and then that will actually, for lack of a better term, bootstrap itself. That's not going to hit all those, but let's... Okay, let's escape through here. Let us out of here again. So... Okay, so we could also bootstrap that. I think we're going to need to look at doing that first. Because, to be fair, we're going to want to get that jammer out of there. Oversight, wasn't it? We need also to connect that to there. Ah, okay. We can take this out of here now because of the jammer. Now we can take the jammer out of here. Okay. So, I think it's going to be like a weird game of switching the positions here. Okay. Open this. 
And let's get this one open for now. Then we can switch over to the red. Down team Spen, how you doing? Good to see you, good to see you. It's not gonna do anything for me though, is it? Sure that will work, but then I've got my drama, my drama, my jammer trapped in there. Anything that interests you about the Final Fantasy VII Remake is the theory that the original game was just Aerith looking for live stream to see the future, and now the reimagining is actual run, which tries to use knowledge from that. Yeah, and I'm quite interested to see, as Evan likes to call it, what Ripoff Cloud is going to do. Rip-off cloud with brown hair is all he knows about um, a certain somebody. Thanks for the posture check, toaster boy. Okay. So, here's what I'm thinking. I have no idea if this will work. will not work. Okay. likes to wind me up by calling me Flower Girl, and I hate it. There is one time she is referencing the original game as Flower Girl. One time. Nobody cares about Apex, what they call her in Apex Legends because nobody cares about that crossover.
So... I think the idea here is right. setting up the camera dollies, you know, as you do. Oh, I need to get out of here first. Interesting. Interesting. That's pretty neat. Yeah, the, the big thing there is like working out how you could use both of them. Have you found any signs of Cornelius? Could he have returned to the island? Spoostrapping that. Nothing so key. far. But he knows this place better than any of us, and we have no idea what he's up to. We have no idea. All right, one main puzzle to go. Time for you at the minute, you coot. We're gonna go and speak to Stratton. I see these beings, these children of a future age, wandering around an island more fantastical than Atlantis itself, looking desperately to find themselves. I reach out to them, but they cannot see me. I speak to them. But I do not know if they can hear me. Am I being punished? Are the gods playing some cruel trick on me? Why can I remember so little? What is this sorrowful voice I hear whispering such terrible thoughts? I must use what remains of my mind. I must understand. Um, why is this guy red? This is, um, most interesting. I'm tired of waiting. Sometimes I think Mother is stalling. Like, we could already be done with this, but she's afraid of what will happen if we contact New Jerusalem. Our discoveries are amazing, world-changing. But how much longer can we sit around on this island? None of it means anything if people don't know about it. Can they really be so afraid of change? Interesting. Um, I haven't purposely updated the game LB. I mean, if it's still an automatic update, possibly. Uh, 
Um, oops. <coughs> so, real talk a minute. I didn't see it until, um, yeah, forever stuck in 99%. I didn't see it until Thursday, yesterday morning when I actually came downstairs, but um, upon myself um, obviously exploring and getting stuck in places last uh, on Wednesday night, um, I came downstairs for a little note on my worktop that said, Peter. Um, Evan was accusing me of cheating because I was exploring. <laughs> hey, we got Are the generators the working? Station at the best. Yep, all good. Those Mark IIs are real workhorses. Wow, did you finish the setup? Yes. Sorry I couldn't wait. It was so much fun to just do something again without having to endlessly discuss it first. I know what you mean. We have a lot of work ahead of us, though. We do, but... Honestly, Cornelius, I haven't felt this excited in years. Just imagine, one day they'll come here and we'll be able to show them a whole new world. A different future right at their fingertips. You do think we can do it, right? I think, and forgive me if this sounds sentimental. As long as we're together, we can do anything. Is this me, or does that kind of look like an interpretation of one of those Easter Island statues? Yeah, as I explained to you, Evan, though, uh, yesterday morning, I was not cheating. I was simply exploring because at no point did I actually break anything by going out of bounds and exploring. I mean, this is one of our lost puzzles. It is. Alternator. was me thinking it was plain sailing.
There we go. Yeah, it had to be something where you're feeding both lasers through the uh, connector. Theory, RE Gold Puzzles. Based on Athena's description of simulation and what little sense I've managed to make of the Megastorch systems, I think gold puzzles are meant to open up when every other puzzle has been solved and solving them will lead to something. In the simulation, trying to solve every puzzle instead of trying to defy Elohim was actually negative. No idea if the same applies here. In any case, I suspect the puzzles won't open up until Byron's logged out. They represent the highest level of security and undoubtedly hide something important, and as long as an un unauthorized loser is logged in, the system will stay in some sort of degree of lockdown. I uh, don't agree with you there, Melville. I'm pretty sure just can doing all of the um, bonus puzzles plus doing um, each of the four sides of the mega structure is um, key to all we need to work out there. All right, we have one puzzle left to find. Two puzzles, two puzzles. I call him an unauthorized loser. Possibly. A loser. He's not authorized to be a loser. Call the police. All right, we need to find one lost lab, one hidden puzzle. Poppies. Let's follow the path. Let's deviate from the path. It's got nothing to say. Alright, well, this is Puzzle 8, the final standard puzzle. Photon Sail. Expecting a bit of everything in this one, but we'll see. Okay, we can swap a hexahedron for a hexahedron. Not sure that's going to be helpful, but there's something we can do. What tomfoolery is this, honestly? Okay. I can think I can see what is needed here. Do we have any other items though? I think ultimately we need to swap the we need to get both the hexahedrons out here once we have both the hexahedrons out Gonna to need to use them to cross that there. So it's gonna be kind of like a case of jumping from jump from one to the other, pick it up, put it down. Almost like there was a I don't think you made it, but there was a portal map similar to that. I've seen you played a couple actually. I 
wonder actually, do we need to get over the... Right, today we discovered we cannot stand on a fan base. Missing something? Obviously, I'm missing something because I'm missing how to solve the puzzle. But how would I get into there? Maybe I can't jump there. some like hit box on this hexahedron please it's done that weird thing like Paul does where you've got like a cube but there's no collision with the cube No clip activated. <coughs> Positive, at least we know kind of what we're doing now.
Get seven with her craft. Everybody loves a bit of wither craft. The new Minecraft mod, isn't it? No! Ah, oh, no. <laughs> what do you get from Russian? That's what you get for rushing around. And now I gotta restart. Take your time this time, not. I just hide it very well, LB. Give it a wide berth. Take the pan. I 100% appreciate the game for this because other games this would be quite tedious to do but because Talos has that um, system where it prompts you where you're going to jump to um, I'm impressed. it makes it so much easier to do there's nothing that I hate more than like in like platforming games or especially like first person or th even third person games sometimes probably more re more um sorry <coughs> um is a better example where you kind of got to do this sort of thing but you just cannot like gauge the depth of the object and where the object is so yeah i i 100 appreciate the that, that being a thing in talos Alrighty. Puzzles are done. We are looking for a lost lab. And a lost puzzle. This is puzzle. What's this? Oh, that's our golden gate. The um, brain over here looks interesting. Really, probably try and pick up a path somewhere. I'm sure that will lead me to the right place. It's puzzle two. Let's follow this path. See where it takes us. To the lost lab. Mechanics need kind of puzzle. Yeah, I'm missing. I'm still missing one of the lost puzzles in here. The it's our last lost lab. It's the mega structure. Of course, we're going to find this last. Do we? Uncover the secrets of the mega structure here.
Sometimes I imagine myself throwing myself following the mat matrilineal lineup against the river of time to the lives of distant great grandmothers. I tried to imagine the sheer horror of motherhood, the agony of childbirth, the risk of death with every birth, the certainty of losing someone, children. Sorry. To us now, the loss of a child is a horror almost beyond words, a grief, a grief so deep that it almost seems insurmountable. I tried to imagine what it meant to live in a world where it was a uh, ubiquitous reality, where you could only choose to respond with either an ever-deepening pain or an inhuman numbness, and all of it tied to the foundation stone of your existence, the body. This journey to the past reminds me that my freedom as a woman is on some level technological. Without medical technologies, I am reduced to the cruel logic of nature, which cares about nothing except reproduction. Without machines, I become a machine. Only machines will allow us to be more than machines ourselves. Dear Founder, I heard a story that you left because you discovered a way for us to become beings of flesh. Please, Founder, if this is true, please tell me how to achieve this miracle. I hate being a creature of metal and plastic, an abomination to the earth. Every day I curse myself for being immortal, for mindlessly consuming energy, for being so unlike the gracious animals to whom the planet truly belongs. I have stripped as many parts from this vile skeleton as I can, but it's not enough. I'm still a machine. For the longest time I couldn't understand the source of my unhappiness, and I sought to blame our mayor and his associates for the decisions that made my life so miserable. But now I see that my problems aren't external at all. It's all me, and if I could change myself, if I could make myself truly human, I would be happy. Please, Founder, take pity on me. Dear Athena, I've been following the expedition to this incredible machine you've built. I don't know what's going on, and I wish Cornelius had told us the truth before he vanished. I wish both of you had told us everything from the beginning, to be honest. It was unfair to just abandon us. But then I abandoned you, didn't I? After I was lost, Sabaya, after we lost Sarabaya, I couldn't see anything except the unbearable permanence of her absence. It took me centuries to start getting involved again, but I did. Athena. I did, Athena. I came back, and so can you. It's interesting that like these are like real-time messages. So, clearly, it's all hooked up to the New Jerusalem system somewhere, right? Yeah, it's crazy. Like you're trying to be the perfect existence and they have almost the perfect existence, but they don't want it. You never want what you have. I think there's a way to sum that up. From Cornelius. Athena, I don't know if you're there or why you're not answering. It's been a long time, but I think about you and Miranda every day. In fact, I've been using the museum to further my research, and I think there is hope. You know, I wouldn't say that this lightly. Please respond. I will return as soon as I can. I'll still avail a veto if I have to. Okay, Namina Project Trials. Remaining instabilities eliminated. The final confirmation. Trial 090058 version 1 successfully deployed. It is done. But what now? Interesting as well. Look at the location. A Heine? A Heine one? A Hanya. A Hanya one, maybe. Where is that? Hanya one. What's the terminal's name? Damn it. Thought we'd uncovered like some mystery mystery place where Athena had gone to. Alright. We are done. We need to find one more puzzle. One more puzzle.
I can only assume that it's on the outside somewhere. Sometimes it's difficult to actually work out like what puzzle number it is, if that makes sense. The map doesn't always display it clearly. I mean, that's puzzle three. I get that. Some of this rock formation here, it seems a bit weird, but I guess not. Trevor end. People like Trevor as much as it's people like Trevor as much as it is people like Alexandra who make the future happen. People with silly names like Trev, who aren't famous, who aren't geniuses, who aren't driven by a powerful vision of the future. Ordinary people whose work and sacrifice isn't even acknowledged or remembered. I will remember you, Trevor. You too held the world on your shoulders. Bar and I used to go to the hills above the dam and observe the stars with telescopes that I built. But when I saw the stars like that, I felt such, an awe, such awe that I wish we had the ability to cry. I felt wonder, but I also felt recognition. I was seeing my home. The sea of stars is where we came from, and it's where we must return. I had so much hope then. I knew one day we would set sail. We would fly through the clouds of nebula, cruise across the planets where it rains diamonds. We would follow in the fading light of distant, distant supernovas until at last we met our brothers and sisters of the cosmos. I could feel that day coming. I can't anymore, and I don't know how to, and I don't know how to live this way. I lived with Sarabaya for nearly a century. I will not pretend that all the days were good. Some were terrible. She was opinionated. She could be difficult. She could be unfair. And so could I. Sometimes we hurt each other, though we rarely meant it. But most days were good, and some days were great. A great day with Sarabaya made you feel different. It made you feel like something had been revealed to you about nature of the universe itself. Some innate goodness at the heart of all things. Like Ned... Like Nadia Sarabaya, whose name she adopted, she believed in the existence of something sublime, beyond the material world. I hope she was right. I hope she's still somewhere. I hope she's not trapped in that broken body I tried so hard to repair. I was advised to let her go, to get over my attachment. I tried, but it was the wrong advice. Love is what makes us human, and we should count ourselves blessed that we can experience it. My attachment is what kept me sane. What anchored me to this world, even in death, she saved my life. I am grateful for the days that we got, but no amount of days would have been enough. Love is not finite. It is for infinity that we must strive. I will do so for all of you who may still find love in honour of Sarabaya. Patia. If I'd have been more careful, New Alexandria would have would never have happened. Sarabaya would still be here. Don't blame yourself. It's an accident. Alright, is this the last part of Trevor's journal? Everybody's gone, except me and Alex. She's upstairs somewhere. I haven't talked to her in days. The only reason why I know she's still alive is uh, she's submitting bug fixes. I still have a lot to do myself. I've almost got the... <coughs> the tertiary backup thing working. This is the one that's really going to last if everything else breaks. And you know what? I think everything else might. The MLA still giving me all these hiccups. But I don't know. I'm not a software guy. All the software guys? Yeah, they're dead. <sighs> God. These... Watch out, LB. We're in trouble. All the software guys are dead. <laughs> these time capsules went a bit sideways, didn't they? I was going to tell you all about myself and 
John Carpenter and all that stuff, but mostly I just told you about Alex. <laughs> Funny. I wonder if I should just... I, I, I should just tell her. Do you love you know, her? Just tell her. Just, just, just tell her. <laughs> Maybe later. I gotta finish this first. Wow, putting the, the needs of survival with these, like, robots. Bit of how he actually wants to, how he actually feels and what he wants to say. In memory, still bright. I'd like to thank 1K for covering all of Trevor's recordings. It's clear that they meant a lot to Athena, and they should mean a lot to us too. He is as much a progenitor as Alexander Drennan was, and we should not forget him. It's a love story in the end, all of human history. Even when people die, or never even have the chance to get to know each other, love is the only thing that survives the abyss of time. Without the love Trevor felt for Alexandria, without the love for Alexandra felt for us, none of us would be here, and nothing would matter. Thank you, 1K. Tragic as the story is, it gives me hope. And who knows, perhaps she loved him too, or could have. Am I a joke to you? There's a suspicious, a su 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 suspicious looking area over here. I don't know if the rocks are just cordoned off. No, here it is. We found the last puzzle. And it's flooded. Exahedral stacking. Red laser's going to come to play here, isn't it? Yeah, okay. I don't think I see what we do. Because we're not going to be able to connect the connector up to it. Guess we'll take one of those with us. Ah, uh, I'm not sure I'll be. But there we go. We have solved all the regular puzzles in the game. Achievement unlocked. Sit back, take it in, and come on, let's all. Oh, 
All right. Uh, we haven't completed the game yet, Evan. We've just completed all the standard puzzles. There is at least another 13 puzzles that I'm aware of. Maybe more. Well, assuming, of course, that the puzzle, they, they are actually puzzles behind the Golden Gates. Yeah, I said 13 because there's 12 areas, one in each area. And then there's also a golden gate at the um, outside of the next structure where the VTOL is. In that area there. So that's where I'm getting my 13 from. But, as always, he's hungry. It's Tetromino's pizza time. Gonna be at the top of the tower though. We've said pretty much said goodbye to the Sphinx and goodbye to Pandora, right? Prometheus? You have heard the myths of gods and titans. But as you approach the end of your journey, I will tell you the truth that all men fear. The truth The truth that all men fear. Women are in charge. No! that neither Pandora nor the Sphinx will face. There are no gods, son of man. There are no titans, no heroes to save you, no divine judge to weigh your soul against a feather. Nature has no will, and she is not your mother. There is only you, and the spark of the sublime that is your mind. As for myself, I never brought the flame to humankind as the stories tell. I only showed you where it was within yourselves. You are correct, but that truth comes from you. It is part of the flame and yours to wield. You must make myths, not follow them. Yes, this is your duty. Your friend Byron understands this. As you freed me, so I will help you free your friend. 
When you are within Olympus, follow my signs. Yeah, within Olympus. Is that the name of the megastructure, I guess? Alright, it's time to do this. Let's go get Byron. It's time to do this. Let's go. I think there will be. It's like, I probably... It took me a while to actually cotton on that, like, they were talking about me as such i think i kind of referenced some of it as like talking about mount olympus kind of thing so you know dudes what's doing my stars uh no Byron always called me a pessimist, but I don't think it's pessimistic to recognize our flaws or to think the natural world is just as valuable as we are. If I was pessimistic, I wouldn't believe that we can turn our back on the old ways or that we can find happiness in humility. But I do. I have hope, even if Byron could never see it that way. <laughs> 